Sup chumps. So, before I say anything about the subject at hand, I want to briefly mention a situation involving a fellow hair loss YouTuber called KWRX. Unfortunately, it looks like his channel is under attack right now, very likely by the same people who have attacked my channel over the years, even successfully managed to ban it for three weeks before YouTube reversed the ban. If you've watched KWRX's content, then you'll know he does really solid work and he's a great asset to the hair loss community. So, I encourage people to go over to his channel and show him some support, and if anyone has any ideas on how to help him, please let him know. Thank you. All right, Jims, guess what? We just got some breaking news about PP405, and I've got to tell you, as someone who's been involved with hair loss communities for around 20 years now, I have never seen people as excited about any hair loss treatment as they are about PP405 right now. People are absolutely ecstatic. They are convinced beyond a shadow of a doubt that this new treatment is a full-blown cure, and that Everyone will be able to regrow all their hair, even if they've been a Norwood 7 for the past 30 years. But is this hype actually justified? Well, there have been a lot of pipeline treatments that people have overhyped before in the past, like HMI-115, ET-02, and of course, Cosma RNA. And I'm not saying this is necessarily the case with PP-405, but we shouldn't judge this treatment based on the positive reactions from hair loss communities, because let's face it, they've definitely gotten it wrong many times before. I mean, we're talking about Tressless here, Chooms, the very same subreddit that just a few years ago claimed that the cure for hair loss is broccoli, and everybody believed it. Yes, I know that was was a cheap shot. I'm sorry. I know Tresla still hasn't completely forgiven me for my video debunking that post a few years ago, but please, let's all calm the fuck down here and actually take a look at the research and see if we can justify drawing such strong conclusions from it. So, what we're talking about here is Pelage Pharmaceuticals, who just announced today the results of the Phase 2A trial of PP405. So, in case you forgot what that is, I did a video on it after the Phase 1 trial results were announced, and I'll link that below. That video is nearly a year old, so that's right, I was talking about PP405 on my channel before it was cool. But to summarize very briefly what PP405 actually is, it is supposed to work by activating hair follicle stem cells. PP405 is a molecule that inhibits the function of the mitochondrial pyruvate carrier. This results in increased activity of the lactate dehydrogenase enzyme, and this is a stimulant to reactivate hair follicle stem cells, which leads to hair regrowth. That's the theory anyways, and I go over that in detail in my previous video that I'll link below. So first of all, what this is is just a press release, and I assume it is legitimate, but I don't actually find any announcement on the Pelage website, which is a little strange to me. But assuming this is on the up and up, here's what the press release says. There were 78 men and women with androgenic alopecia enrolled in the trial. PP405 or a placebo was applied once daily for four weeks. After that, the subjects were followed for 12 more weeks. The press release states that the study met its primary safety endpoint as well as its secondary pharmacokinetic endpoint. The drug was well tolerated and there was no systemic absorption, which of course is is good because this drug affects mitochondrial function and mitochondria are essential for life. So it's strange that they don't give the results after 12 weeks of treatment. Instead, they only give the results just four weeks after completing the treatment. That's four weeks of daily treatment and then another four weeks of follow-up, so eight weeks after starting the trial. The trial was supposed to go on for another eight weeks, but those results aren't mentioned at all. But at eight weeks after starting the trial, 31% of those treated with PP405 had a greater than 20% increase in hair density. There was no improvement of the placebo group. So this isn't necessarily a huge amount of regrowth despite how it may sound. What determines that depends on what the actual hair counts were. For example, if you start with 10 hairs per square centimeter, a 20% increase is only two additional hairs. But the article emphasizes that this was a very rapid hair growth response. Normally, it takes at least three months to see hair regrowth on a medication, and often it takes 6 to 12 months of treatment. So this is fast regrowth, but if the study is completed, why not give the results 12 weeks after the treatment? Maybe these are preliminary results and the study is still ongoing? I mean, I don't know. The press release also mentions that, quote, PP405 induced new hair growth from follicles where no hair was previously present, offering early validation of its regenerative potential, unquote. So the researchers are implying here that they are getting regrowth in hairless areas, which would be a great result if it is true, but we don't actually know that yet for certain. The rest of the press release is made up of quotes from the chief medical officer of Pelage hyping up the results, as you'd of course expect. 
So people need to realize here that this press release is more designed to drive up the market value of Pelage Pharmaceuticals rather than to provide the kind of details that would actually be useful to evaluate the results of PP405. Now, I'm not saying that I'm not optimistic, Jones. I definitely think that PP405 is a treatment that justifies interest and excitement, but these are clearly not the full results of the study, and I'm going to assume it is still ongoing. The results are definitely encouraging, I'll admit, but until we see actual hair counts and the statistical p-values, I think we should definitely take this with a grain of salt. Also, we're still in the phase two trial here, Chooms. Phase three trials will still need to be done, and so this treatment is still many years away from the market at this point. So, I'm certainly going to be keeping an eye on this one, as I already have been doing, but I can't get too excited by this somewhat overhyped press release from this company that is hoping to make millions of dollars off this drug. So please, chums, definitely keep your eye on this one, but don't throw out your finasteride, dutasteride, or minoxidil. PP405 is likely still many years away, so if you're somebody who hates finasteride or you're scared to take the drug and you think you can hold out until this treatment is available, don't kid yourself. Your hair will not survive that long, and it still has yet to prove itself in scientific papers, not just in press releases. Okay, so this is a very short video, but I just made it like literally hours after my last video, but I will be back with more content soon, so thank you so much for watching. God bless.